Devil's Doer. Let me write down his team. Starmie is annoying. Fortress is actually here, even though I have a Magnezone. And he didn't bring Doug Trio, even though I have a Magnezone. So, Sir Kate is faster than everything on a team that's not a scarf. My name is Abomination, by the way, and welcome back to the YCL Wi Fi quarterfinals. Haha. <laughs> he doesn't lead with the, uh, the beast, does he? I'm gonna lead Romare. Fortress is the beast, by the way. Actually, I'm gonna lead Sir Kit here. That's better. That's a better choice. Because, uh, like I said, the scarf, not too much bulk, but the scarf should let me outspeed everything on his team. I get the. Okay, so this is fine by me. Old switch. <laughs> not there's not much to think about here. Oh, no damage. Um, but that's fine. Uh, Hidor comes in here, intimidates this thing. Uh, even if he has plus one, I think I'm fine. But intimidate, right? Focus energy. I wanted to be again because I have seen one of these things before. Here comes the body slam. Decent damage to me, but not much after the leftovers. He didn't bring Moltres, so I don't need uh, Stone Edge. Don't need to ever push it. What's wrong with this close combat here, huh? He's got Salamence, he's got a lot of stuff that can just ignore it. But uh, honestly, do I care? No, I'd like to heal a little bit more. Heal a little bit more. So yeah, he's just gonna flat out switch. That's fine. I just want a leftover as a seat. Slay, Slayer. Oh, Stone Edge would have been a good play. Oh, that's decent damage. Uh, Azumarill is my switch to this because this thing gets no electric moves, no grass moves, and no poison moves, and it's flying stab is irrelevant, no dual wing beat. So Wallop is the easy switch into this. No question. Only problem is if, like, you know, status moves. He is Dragon... Dragon Claw does not affect me. So his switch is the Toxic Croak, right? That's why I'm gonna Body Slam. If he goes Fortress, good for him. But Toxic Croak is pretty clean. Acid Bath is Toxic Rogue. So I just hit this with a banded body slam. This is gonna crunch this thing. Obliterates it and he leaves him with paralyzed. Crunching damage to the Toxic Rogue. Very good damage. Very good. Wallop, very good. Very strong. Nice work. Leaves him dead pretty much. I don't have faith that I'm faster though, so I'll just go into Sir Kit. No, I won't. That's risky. He door. Ah, uh, he doubles. This is probably Fortress. Gengar. Okay. I didn't want to risk that yet, so I'm gonna stay in here. Let's see if I can nail this with a sucker punch after they intimidate or something. No, let's not. What if you substitute, right? Nasty plot, substitute, dangerous things. Uh, either way, Sir Kitch is faster than this. If he is one of those things, Sir Kitch is faster, so let's just not. Let's risk the sucker punch, because it always works. He switches. <laughs> it, it never works, it never works, by the way. Back into this stupid thing. No flying stab. What if I just stone edge this rat? Let's not. Let's just go back in the wallet. Like, because it's the easiest switch in, in in existence. Right? This is a free wallet. Wallop switch in. I'm not afraid of anything you can do. Earthquake. It's the best you can hit me with. Did that screen just zoom in? 
seemed like it zoomed in. Uh, play rough now. That's the play. Because of the, uh... Thingy? Fortress that can come in? Uh, that it's kind of makes me afraid, but here comes Metallica. I pushed play rough because it would have been enough for the Toxicroak, but because he has it, I can't just push the water move yet. That's decent damage. Leftovers? Yeah. So this thing's pretty annoying, honestly. But he can't just bring this in, because I could try to trap him in, right? And he doesn't know that, but I could. Which is pretty cool. Right? I'm gonna go Remore, though. I have Rapid Spin later on. Ah, uh, yeah, Remore to predict the Earthquake that I think he's gonna try to go for, predicting my thingy. Bolt Switch. Okay, that's... I'm just gonna put me back. I have leftovers, so I'm gonna get multi-scale again. This doesn't matter what he goes into. Is it Starmie? XTC. So my leftovers are gonna let me get multi-scale so I can take a hit from this thing. And hit it with a Dragon Claw in return, right? Let's just do that. And there's the Ice Beam. So I can take this. And it freezes me or crits me. That's unfortunate, but I take that. And here comes the Dragon Claw. Piece of damage to that thing. It is leftovers. Okay. So am I. I lost multi-scale, that's fine. I can get it back with Roost later on. Sir Kit? Yeah, Sir Kit. Uh, he can't, uh, unless he hits me, nails me like a Hydro Pump, he just switches. Okay. Try, uh, okay, this thing. He would have, he, okay, he was just giving me that, I guess. This is fine by me, and uh, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. No need to Volt Switch, I don't think. I'll just Thunderbolt. He can't, he's not immune to this at all, so yeah, I'm just gonna execute this thing. Toxicroak is out, so I can push water type moves now. Salamence can stay, can take them, but not well. That's great, though. Slayer is this thing. I know it has Earthquake, so let's just not risk that yet. How about... I have yet to see Dragon Dance on this thing, so how about I go into Hidor here, intimidate it, and then I got a Stone Edge coming, right? I don't think he's got flying coverage. He would have pushed it by now. There's Intimidate, right? Here's Roost. Ah, that's annoying. Uh, I can go with a wallop now, though. He healed, he's intimidated. I'm back to full health as well. Intimidated. Stone Edge hits what? Eh. Uh, nothing. Let's just see what he does to me first. Stone Edge. He hurts me with an earthquake. Okay. I take that easily. Let's go for Stone Edge here, see what happens. A lot of damage. Was that a critical hit? It definitely was. Okay. Now I'm gonna close combat because if he roosts, he loses that immunity and I hit him pretty hard here. Maybe this is enough to finish him off, but I don't think so. He loses flying as I close combat here. Let's see. Ah, it's not quite enough to get him. Unfortunately, it's not quite enough to get him, so I have to switch here. I could close combat again. Take a big hit. Take a big hit. He can't kill me, though. So I'll close combat again. Uh, he roosts again, so I made the right call here. I think this is going to be a knockout. Because last time I did more than that, so if this is if it's the same roll or higher, then I knock him out here. <laughs> knock out his uh, Salamence. Salamence is out. That's great. Good. Perfect. <sighs> Perfect. Salamence is out. Toxicroak is out. Snorlax is scary, but I still have you know this Hidor here. Okay. <clears throat> Starmie is scary as well, but it's not 
too bad. Because I do have, I have an Umbreon still in the back. Here comes Starmie. Speak of the double. Uh, it's leftovers, so Marshall here should be clean, easy switch in, right? Even Mew. Even Sir Kit, actually. How about... But I'll go Marshall this time. My defenses are really shredded, so we have Marshall. Let's see if this works out nicely in my favor. Here comes the Scald, okay. Uh, critical hit, and a burn. Okay, he's also burned, so not too bad, but my foul play is weakened. But his leftovers is gone now. That sucks being burned, because I can't hit him with a foul play. And I, my other attack is Psychic for Toxicroak. It's already out though, isn't it? Still, I'll just Baton Pass. Oh boy, lots of stuff here. Baton Pass is the play. Definitely, Baton Pass is 100% my move. As uh, they switch, so I made the right call here. And here comes Fortress, so I made the perfect call here. Which actually lets me go into Sir Kit and just push Thunderbolt. Because I'm trapping this thing in. They think. It's not actually. Um, and hitting it with a big, gruesome bolt switch, probably. He says they, uh, you know, they're probably going to bolt switch themselves. So I'll just bolt switch, even though, like, they're probably going to bolt switch as well. I don't want to risk a thunderbolt. That is a lot of damage. They probably thought they are trapped in, but they weren't. So whatever this thing does to me won't matter, because I'll just go in the new. It really, it does not matter what this thing does. He probably just bolt switches as well. Yep. But, if they go into Gengar, that... I don't care about that. I don't... Yeah, no, I do not care about a Gengar. If they go in Gengar, I'm pushing Psychic. Because I can live. We go into Snorlax instead. Uh, I don't really want to play around with a Snorlax, if I'm being honest. It's very scary. If it curses... You know, that's very scary. I could combine here. But no, I don't think I want to yet. I think I'll just make the obvious safer play and just go into the door and intimidate and see how much damage I can do this. Because he can't heal, like, outside of rest. She can't heal outside of rest. Here comes another body slam, okay. Ah, he gets the per she gets paralysis this time. Not playing around. I don't want to play around with the Snorlax. I really don't. It's so it's such an intimidating force. I don't want to play around with it. He has Starmie and Gengar that can switch in on this. Fortress doesn't want to take this. Close combat question? Like, do I do close combat here? Let Gengar come in? I don't think so. But no games in front of this thing, man. Seriously, no games. Snorlax is scary here. This is Starmie, so this is taking something, right? Close combat? Yeah, it's taking something here. Eh, nothing. That was actually, that was something. I do have Sucker Punch. I want to make that clear right now, but I'm not risking it. So if I get fully paralyzed, Snorlax is, a, is in a great spot. And I don't want to risk the Snorlax winning this game. So, Sir Kit, I think, is my play here. Yeah, he can't one-shot me. No matter what. Scald could be annoying. But I'm switching. Get me out of here. Sir Kit. Comes on in. Should be able to handle... Okay, recover. That's good. That's good. That's what, kind of what I thought was going to go down here. But now I have a, two Thunderbolts coming on whatever. One of them is analytic boosted. Right? So Snorlax could come in, but it's taken a big chunk here. 
I'm assuming Snorlax is coming in, right? Snorlax. Here comes Snorlax. Let's see what kind of damage anal Analytic can do here. I'm not modest. Oh boy. Nothing. So he's, uh, she is very specially defensive. Like, purely specially defensive, so, yeah. This has got to be Body Slam again. Intimidate, yeah, it's got, he's probably just, she is probably putting Body Slam. Yeah, because she's uh, whittling Hidora away, slowly, but surely, right? Slowly but surely getting me here with this. So how about I try to do something different? Like how about I try to go back into Sir Kid here? There's the switch. This thing's faster than me. Which is something. That's that's something. This thing is faster than me. So now I predicted that coming in. So now I volt switch. I got gotcha. checked. Now I got you. I predicted that successfully. Now I volt switch here. As they what? Go back into the Snorlax? Hmm? Yeah. Mm. Lots of time being eaten up here trying to bring this thing down. Slowly hurting it, but not surely. Wallop can come in here and push Waterfall. Because this thing is not, uh, it's not a prime time to take a hit here. Maybe not Waterfall. Yeah, oh, yeah, Waterfall. Yeah, Waterfall. Uh, Starmie resists, but Waterfall. They switch. Do they go back into the Starmie right now? Yes. This should still take good damage. It's full health low, so not too much. That's still good damage. Um, I don't... Actually, I should be able to live a Thunderbolt, I think, but I'm not risking anything yet. So let's go into Circuit. Right? Stopping the stupid Snorlax from doing something is what I'm trying to do here. Make sure it can't get too many leftovers. Too much left over, right? There's the skull. That is good damage to me. It burns me again. This thing has natural cure. Starmie has natural cure. That's why it's not burned anymore. Forgot about that. So it's not analytic. So no boost on the switch. Which is. I volt switch again. <sighs> Did I just nail this thing? Nope. Okay. For a second, I thought I nailed it. And here comes this thing again. Slowly being whittled away. Three minutes left till the battle ends. Think I have him though. Her. Wallop comes on in. I push play rough this time. Is it fortress? But Gengar comes in, then it's different. No, I push waterfall. Waterfall. Did they make exactly the same move? No. Okay. They made. They went into this thing, so I'm executing this waterfall. Good. This. Okay. Fortress is out. So play rough is a little bit more open. Made another right call. That's good. What is that? Gengar comes back on in. Uh, Gengar is in a pretty good spot, but I do have a scarf on. Circuit here. So, uh, my switch in. Do I need one? Or do I let Wallet go down here? Just click Waterfall. Sludge Bomb executes me. No question. But, uh, Waterfall. Er, um, not Waterfall. I just wanted a free switch into something. Anything, like you. So then I go into Mew here. If it's if it's not locked into something, I can kill it. 
It doesn't matter. He's not Life Orb. It's not. There's no boosts, not specs. So yeah, they have to switch here. If this is Starmie, that's okay. That's fine as well. I think it's Calm Mind is an option here. I'm hitting this with the Psychic. No damage. Pretty much no damage. But again, here comes the timer. Ugh. This thing is yet to click Curse. It's just Calm Mind in front of this. It's getting on my nerves a little bit, right? And whatever it does should be fine. It doesn't matter. Let's see how much damage it would do with this body slab. Not much, but it paralyzed me again. <laughs> That's something, I guess. Okay, let's go. Come on, push the button. Psychic again. Hopefully you don't get fully paralyzed. Got fully paralyzed. As they push rest. Okay. So that would be a long war. They don't appear to have curse. But they like I feel like they would have pushed it a long time ago. We'll see what happens now, huh? Because obviously I have more guys. Uh here. Yeah. But uh <sighs> Another timer battle in playoffs. See how he reacts to this. But I will talk about this. Talk about this team while I'm waiting for something. Snorlax is pretty indestructible, honestly, but not uh, not too bad, right? So I'll talk about this. Wall up here with a choice band, obviously. Adamant with max attack, a lot of HP. Hit can take some hits. Not a sludge bomb from a Gengar, but I was just letting him die there because timer's running out, and I was just trying to do something. Uh, so Waterfall, Aqua Jet, Play Rough, Body Slam. Body Slam hit Toxicroak. That's why I brought it. So you saw that work out very well. Circuit was a scarf. I don't spend everything on his team except for a... Dog Trio. With max speed, Timid barely outspeeds Starmie. But it does outspeed Starmie. Thunderbolt, Bolt Switch, Flash Cannon, and Light Screen. Generally just push electric type moves unless he has Dog Trio. Then I push Flash Cannon, and Light Screen was for an emergency Gengar thing. Just in case. Heatorb is here for the Snorlax. Max HP, a little bit of attack, a little bit of defense, a little bit of speed, decent amount of special events. Close to combat, Sucker Punch, Stone Edge, Rapid Spin. Rapid Spin, he is a fortress. Very scary. Stone Edge for Moltres, and also, as you saw, Salamence, I guess. Got a nice critical hit on it. Sucker Punch was for Gengar, right? Gengar doesn't like Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch never works, though. I don't like the move, but it's the only dark type move he has in this game. And then close combat, of course, to hit the thing. Last time I saw Snorlax, I ran Focus Energy to break through its curse. But I didn't do that this time. Maybe he paid the price a little bit, but he never stayed in against it anyway. And he was definitely max special defense. She. Remore here. I, again with this set, look at that, look at that spread. A decent amount in everything except for no special attack. Even though I have Fire Blast, but it obliterates Fortress either way. Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance, Fire Blast, and Roost. The only thing that wants to take a Dragon Time move is that Fortress, which obviously Remore stops. Mew here. Max HP, almost max speed. Timid Nature with Psychic, Combine, Thunderbolt, and Roost. Hits everything on his team pretty much. Cannot kill things in one shot, but Gengar, it's a nice for Gengar. Oh, if it's modest Gengar, I barely outspeed it. That's what that speed is for. And then Marshall's just a nice special defense switch in, max HP, max special defense, with the careful nature. Where is it? Calm nature, sorry. Careful is, yeah. Calm nature. With foul play for just for good stuff, but I always get burned. Psychic for Toxicroak, because it doesn't want to take that when it comes in, and it can easily come in on Marshall. Moon Knight, keep me alive. John Pass, as you saw, was good 
for trying to keep Snorlax at bay. Yeah, and that's my entire team. I haven't gotten a message back yet, so I'll just say bye right now. That was pretty fun regardless of the timer. Maybe he said something in a DM? Nope. Yeah, so I'll be, yeah, thank you for watching. He hasn't said anything yet, so I guess I maybe will win that one. If not, I'll be right back. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be a 5 to 3, maybe 5 to 2, maybe 5 to 2, because I killed Fortress, Toxicroak, and Salamence. 5 to 3, 5 to 3. Gengar was full health. Starmie was half dead, but it had not recover. But as, if I got rid of that Snorlax, then Magnezone won that game, right? Snorlax was the last thing. Mew and Snorlax were about to have a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see what kind of went down there. I got paralyzed, though, and he had rest. Probably sleep talk. I saw... I All I saw was Bloody Sun and rest. Could easily have been the curse set. Uh, if it was, then paralysis... My paralysis kind of decided things, right? Sorry, I'm kind of far away. My paralysis kind of decided things. Probably shouldn't have stayed in and calm minded, but it was at the end of the game. Uh, and the timer was ticking. So, yeah. He hasn't. Yeah. So, thank you for watching and listening. I'll most. I'll probably be back. No, no. I, I'll be back for the next round of playoffs. This was the quarterfinals. I thought last time was the quarterfinals. This time is the quarterfinals. So, yeah. I'll see you for the semifinals. Two more wins to go. Thanks again. Smell you later.